Hi, I'm Dwayne Chaffin. I'm Rick Askew. And we are the owners of Memphis Grindhouse Coffee. And you are watching Live at Nine. Coffee. I hope you have yours. Good morning. It's Friday, August 30th. Welcome to Live at 9, where Memphis comes alive. Along with your top news, weather with Todd Demers, and trending topics in coffee with Corey. Here's a look at our guest lineup. The term neurodivergent has taken center stage after a viral moment in the 2024 presidential campaign. Dr. K is here in the studio to talk about neurodiversity and how you can recognize and support a child who may be neurodivergent. We're going to do a demonstration, so you might want to listen to that. We're also celebrating the unsung heroes of Memphis with Danny McGee Barlow. We'll share details about her upcoming event, Honors Her. That's recognizing 21 incredible women making a difference in our community. And one of the performers from the event is going to give us a sneak peek of what you can expect. Also, if you are debating whether it's time to replace your roof, We'll be on location with a contracting pro who has the answers. Replace or repair? What's the answer? We'll figure it out. And gear up for an exclusive tour of Floyd Mayweather Boxing and Fitness, a new cutting edge fitness studio in the area that packs a punch when it comes to staying in shape. But first, be sure to record the show so you never miss an episode and connect with us online at our website, live at nine.tv. That's also our handle on social media. Whether you're headed out of town for the holiday weekend or getting together with family and friends closer to home, health officials have a warning for you. COVID infections are on the rise. There's no seasonality when it comes to COVID. That's what doctors are finding as the number of cases spiked this summer, particularly among a specific population. But as students head back to school and more indoor gatherings take place, numbers will spike even further. Medical reporter Dina Baer has more. I think the biggest component, people are gathering, um, they're gathering inside, and so I think it's still important to think about indoor air quality. We have had continuous waves of surges. And right now, we're riding one. We've actually been seeing uh, a larger spike in the recent weeks to months. Summer is typically a slow period in terms of infections, not in 2024. Previously, June was our lowest month. We've been seeing admissions and patients coming in with COVID in June, July, and now August. So again, understanding that there is no real season for COVID, maybe that will change, but in our current state, we have to uh, consider that this is COVID until otherwise. Northwestern medicine pulmonologist, Dr. Michelle Prickett, who helped us navigate the pandemic, now says the latest spike is primarily among those who've not been vaccinated or haven't received a booster. They're coming in mostly to the clinic, but we're seeing a couple patients come into the ICU um, more than we have been in the recent months. So definitely something to be thinking about. The updated COVID vaccine was approved in mid-August and is set to roll out in early September. The shot will cover multiple strains, including a newer variant, KP2, one of the flirt strains and a subvariant of Omicron. This one um, more, has caused more of a respiratory presentation and more comers, um, but with the newer vaccines, we're going to be covering those variants. Testing is key for containment. If you have symptoms, including fever, chills, shortness of breath, sore throat, new loss of smell, fatigue, body aches, and headache, test 24, 48, and even 72 hours after feeling sick. Early tests may be negative as your body's viral load may be low due to some level of previous immunity. If you think you're sick, there are so many tools, whether it's an outpatient test, um, the home tests are still very you know, helpful, and, but there's some overlap. So going to see your local doctor, your urgent care, um, something to get a diagnosis and treatment early on is the best messaging. And if you're interested in kickstarting a health and wellness journey in the days ahead, Shelby Farms Park is the place to be this weekend. The Healthier 901 Fest begins Saturday, 10 a.m. A frequent Live at 9 guest, Chef Reagan Oglesby, the owner of Perch 74 Bistro, is going to offer live cooking demonstrations there. You can also participate in fitness classes, pickleball, or low-impact activities. And for the braver folks, there is going to be a ninja tower, an obstacle course, rock wall, and more. There will also be music, giveaways, food trucks, selling healthy eats.
Sounds like fun. The countdown to 901 day is on. It's Memphis and Shelby County's day to shine in the 901 area code, the ninth month and first day of the year. And of course, the Bluff City is throwing a major celebration. You're invited to head downtown to the iconic Bill Street where there will be giveaways, vendors, food, and even the Shell on Wheels. It all kicks off at 11 a.m. and will include live music from Big Boogie, Al Capone, Kia Shine. There will be a fashion show as well, hosted by Prep Curry, as well as trivia, jookin and DJ battles, live painting, uh, a youth talent showcase, and much, much more. And don't forget, you still have time to get ready. Don't look at how I dance here, okay? Because I was just learning this, okay? Anyway, uh, there's a flash mob, right? So Lottie Yates, the founder of LYE Academy and Queen of Memphis Jookin, choreographed a routine for this event. She's teaching everybody all over Memphis how to do this. So everyone on Beale Street can join the fun. And she showed me the first part of the routine on Live at 9. Now, to learn the entire dance before Sunday, you can visit her Instagram and YouTube pages. All right. All right. Less of that video there. Go ahead and show me that again, <laughs> just a little bit there. I it didn't was quite like catch a punch. it the first you had to time. Do this thing. Okay, yeah. I think I think I got it. And you know, of course, the big question now is, will there be any problems of the weather? I know. Be? I saw your you had some rain in the forecast. Well, there is some scattered showers in the forecast as we head through the weekend. But Kanji, I'm not anticipating a weekend washout. I'm just asking folks to stay alert to some changing conditions because yes, we have plenty of cloud cover. And much like yesterday afternoon, we have those pop up showers and thunder showers. I've got a couple of cold fronts trying to crash the party as we head into the weekend as well. You know, the, the bad part is, is that we, we need the rain. So I just hate to see it on the weekend when we have so many big things going on outside. Right now we have the cloudy skies that I believe will help keep our temperatures in the upper 80s and lower 90s throughout the day. But that's going to be just hot enough for us to see those pop up showers once again. Fairly quiet at the moment with these light southerly winds across the area. Temperatures very slow to climb. We're still in the mid and upper 70s across much of the area right now. And throughout the course of the day with the return Turn of some sunshine. I think we will get back into the upper 80s and lower 90s, and that could push the heat index value to near 100. I don't have any advisories or warnings about the heat. I'm anticipating some cooling showers and unsettled weekend ahead with more rain ahead. That's why we're watching out for the rain. This forecast may change today by noon. If the skies don't clear, we're not getting up to 93. But keep that in mind as you're making your plans. Still hot today as we head through the weekend, though. Look at how these temperatures are starting to trend downward. Once we get through with the rain by early next week, which is going to be Monday. Of course, Labor Day weekend, long Labor Day weekend. Our temperatures are actually going to start dropping. I mean, you're not going to believe the seven day forecast. I think it'll make you happy though. And remember, if you're thinking about getting the car washed, you may want to wait until Monday because we do have the elevated rain chances over the next couple of days. So coming up, a closer look at that all important seven day forecast for your big outdoor plans this weekend. That and more coming up in just a minute. All right, look at this. You remember it was a father son moment in front of the entire Democratic National Convention. Millions of Americans watching at home on TV. 17 year old Gus Waltz reacting to his father's speech as he accepted the nomination for vice president at the DNC. A sweet moment that went sour on social media with negative comments directed at the 17 year old. Many took offense because the young teen is neurodivergent. That's my dad. That's my dad. That's what he's saying. <laughs> By some estimates, about 15 to 20 percent of the population is neurodiverse, according to Eagle Hill Consulting. But what does that mean? I, I had no idea what this was. And to gain a better under understanding, licensed educational psychologist Dr. Karen Schreeder, aka Dr. K, is here. So I was like, what is this word? I know. What? Everybody's freaking out, thinking it's something new. Okay, okay. And if you break down the word neurodivergent, brain. neuro meaning of the nerves or nervous system or the brain, okay. so it's thinking, okay. divergent differently. Okay. Thinking differently. I do that every day. Versus <laughs> neurotypical, which is thinking like everybody else okay. or in a common sort of way. So it's just really those common disorders or conditions that we're already used to, like ADHD, mm -hmm. attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. That's a neurodivergent. It is because oh. they have a different way of thinking okay. about things. Autism. They have a different way of thinking about things. They may have a different way of communicating. And you say hard time focusing. There, yes. there are lists. Uh, of mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so with your ADHD, you may have a hard time focusing. You may have a hard time being still. 
-hmm. With autism, you may have a hard time speaking with others, a hard time in social, social situations, a hard time with certain sensory issues like lights or loud noises mm -hmm. or something like that. So there are lots of disorders and conditions that fall under this gigantic term of neurodivergence. And how is, is it different than the typical neurotypical? So neurotypical, which most of us think we are at the very <laughs> least, it's um, thinking in ways that are pretty common like other people. Like you can pretty much read with comprehension, you're able to be in a social hit situation, pretty much like everybody else. So I would say kind of boring. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're boring, yeah. you're neurotypical. Exactly. I love it. Just typical. <laughs> okay, you always have a really great demonstration to hit. hit yes, um, exactly. Um, and I'm going to be revealing something. Yes, okay. I want you to be very transparent today because, as you talked about that um, statistic er earlier, one out of five people globally is neurodiverse. So mm -hmm. that's how many people in here? One, two, like, three, four, five, six. Somebody's it. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> We're going to do a little quiz, and this is like red light, green light. Okay. So red for no, green for yes. Okay. I'm going to ask a series of five questions, and I want all the listeners and viewers to do the same thing. Yellow this screen. way. Yes, so everybody's going to play. So we have a list of questions here. So the first question is about your social interactions. So do you have problems or do you have problems understanding social cues or having conversations with others? So no. Yeah. I, oh wait, wait. No. Yeah, no, I know yeah. when I'm talking too much and I'm like, oh my gosh, exactly. Stop, stop. So we both are pretty good with that one. But other people don't. Exactly. So number two, this is mine, focus and attention. Do you often struggle to stay focused on tasks or get easily distracted? Uh, it's it, it goes off and on. Pick one. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> See, that's the focus right there. <gasps> oh. <laughs> so yes. <laughs> so yes. <laughs> Number three. It's not funny. Sensory Everyone's... sensitivities. Are you easily overwhelmed by loud noises, bright lights, or certain textures? I'm gonna say no. No. Okay. No. All right. I can go to concerts. Yeah, you can do it pretty thing. well. Yeah. Okay. Question number four. Learning and coordination. Do you have difficulty with reading, writing, or physical coordination? I'm not that coordinated, I'm but uh, in pool. general, I'm okay. I'm good at billiards and stuff. Okay, yeah. well, good. So we're both saying no to that one, or at least okay. And then the last one is repetitive behaviors or intense interest. Do you have any repetitive behaviors or very intense interest? We both said yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> yes. So basically, if you answered yes to three or more, you have some divergent qualities, which is okay. Yeah. And as long as you're functioning in a way that you feel comfortable with, no need to move any further. But if you're having some concerns, the best thing to do is to speak with a professional. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, um, okay, that's really good that mm -hmm. people are able. And so, where does it go from there? Do you uh, you go into? Are there courses like? that they put you through? Or? Right, well the first thing is making sure that you get the correct diagnosis. Right. So yeah. if you have those um, questions about whether or not you're within the neurodivergent community, you should go, like I'm a licensed educational psychologist, mm -hmm. oftentimes I work in schools. Right. So you can go, if your child is having an issue, you can go to that school, talk about the issues and they can have a psychologist to do what we call a, an intensive psychoeducational mm work up for them. Or you can go to a private person, I'm also in private practice, and mm -hmm. they can also do a psychological evaluation to let you know if you have one of those conditions. And so for, you know, maybe some people don't have insurance or, you know, mm -hmm. is there just maybe a, a tip just to get them started? Yes, well, I think the first thing is to see how you're functioning in life. Mm -hmm. Are you able to handle the normal everyday stressors? Right. You can get some type of self-help book like oh, yeah. Dr. Okay, K's okay. Five Ks of Being Okay, which will help you with everyday stressors. Mm -hmm. You can also speak with someone at the school to see if they can put some regular interventions in place mm -hmm. to help 
move the environment around so you can function in it better. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're a parent, you can think of ways that can help your child to function better. And you can find out by talking to them, asking questions, saying, are we doing this better or worse? Does this make you feel better or worse? Yeah, and just acknowledging it, and now mm -hmm. that we know what it is, it's, it's great. So thank you yes. so much for, yes, I believe I am going to get some help. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Gay. Really appreciate you. Thank you. I All appreciate right. it, too. <laughs> okay, and we'll be right back. Stay with us. Welcome back to Live at Nine on this Friday morning. It's the beginning of a long holiday weekend for most folks, and we are all wondering about the weather. Weather expert Todd Demers has your forecast, it's everything you need to know and can expect. Hey, Todd. Hey there, and boy, talk about a lot of things going on this weekend, right? I mean, between the Delta Fest and all the other things that are going on. 901 uh, Day. 901 Day, you got football with the Tigers. I mean, you name it, it's happening. And I know there's already a lot of folks with big outdoor plans for the weekend, so this forecast is going to be be very important and I really need you to download the WREG weather app. Want to make sure that you know exactly what's happening before you head out or for your special event. You'll be able to check Storm Tracker 3S on the radar there on the app as well. Here it is on our Storm Tracker 3S currently over the past 18 hours. We did see some heavier rainfall working its way across the area, mainly northern Mississippi and central Arkansas. It dissipated pretty quickly during the overnight hours. Now I'm already beginning to pick up a few sprinkles here and there around the Memphis and the metro area. This is kind of a good thing. I think it's going to help keep the temperatures down. We hit 100 yesterday again, our record high for today, 107. Now, we weren't alone when it came to that heat yesterday with a lot of locations showing up near 100. And then the rain rolled into town, and of course, we saw those temperatures cool off in a hurry. Currently, we're holding at 77 out at the airport with those temperatures expected to climb out of the upper 80s and lower 90s with some sunshine. But that daytime heating will also help pop up a few of the those afternoon showers once again and look at the better chances for rain later on this evening. This is closer to bedtime as you're making your way in through the overnight hours. Scattered showers will be lifting to the north, which means by daybreak tomorrow we're looking good, but throughout the
the day tomorrow. Look at the temperature contrast. You have rain in Bolivar at 330 and 77 with sunshine in Memphis and a temperature in the lower 90s. So we've had a weak little frontal boundary stall out, giving us the clouds and the rain. A stronger cold front is getting ready to push through the area by early next week. Continued rain chances across the area. But once this cold front is through, skies are going to clear, north winds are going to return, and temperatures are going to be falling for the first week of September. Once again, heavier rainfall late tonight, then again for tomorrow evening, and then once again as we make our way through Sunday as well with that cold front in some areas could pick up some significant rainfall as those isolated heavier showers rumble across the area and the long range models are still showing these temperatures trying to drop well below normal by the time we get to day 6 through 10. Let's test that theory, shall we? Here it is on the seven day forecast with these afternoon showers. Tomorrow, of course, the big football game with the Tigers kick off about six. Can't rule out some rain there. 901 days showers early and the, for the rest of the holiday weekend that cold front moves through skies clear and look what happens to our temperatures. They're dropping down into the low and mid 80s through most of next week and into next weekend. Overnight lows in the 60s and some minimal rain chances ahead. Much nicer weather ahead, but we still have that unsettled weather pattern as we make our way through the weekend. Live at nine continues in a moment. The following portion of Live at 9 is sponsored by Contracting Pro. I'm here with Jeremy Atkinson. We're on the site of a construction. Thanks for letting us be here. Absolutely, Ms. Conja. Good to see you again, of course. Yeah, so, all right. You guys are known for standing out. Why do you say that? You know, peace of mind is ultimately our mission statement, right? So, to provide peace of mind, it's on all aspects, whether it's the customer service of calling in, the job site here, the closeout, everything in between. But today behind me, we have a great peace of mind, kind of an example of what we do here. Um, you know, Ms. Conjay, if I came out to you and you bought a roof from me and I damaged your house or your AC unit or your plants in the process, how would you feel? Oh, no. I, I'm sorry. I'd have to take you out, Jeremy. Take you out. <laughs> I'm, sure you, I'm sure you do some plants and everything. And you don't want your AC unit to no. stop running in the summertime, right? No, I don't. <laughs> so at Contractor Pro, we have a peace of mind catch-all system to make sure that we are protecting your property. And we are, of course, paying our crews extra to do that for you, to give you that peace of mind on that whole entire process of this job. And that's only one tiny sliver of the whole peace of mind process. Right, and my question is always, when should I call? I mean, is it when I have a leak? Um, I mean, it's going to mix and, you know, vice versa. So I would always call for, be proactive, of course. You know, we offer those free roof inspections to come out and to see if there's any damage on the roof. If so, then, we'll, of course, we'll 
educate you. If not, hey, you got peace of mind that the roof's in good shape. You know, we offer repairs, so it, maybe your roof's in great condition and it just needs a minor repair, right? So we do that. Uh, maybe your roof needs a replacement. Of course, we'll go through the whole process, educate you on all the roof systems because there's a lot. Yeah. It's not just a shingle and a nail Yeah, anymore. I need someone guiding me. There's a, there's a lot of stuff going on. And of course, we'll offer you our financing options, long-term, where do you have a low monthly payment, short-term for same as cash, no interest, stuff like that. And also, um, what is the flow? Because I know there are different scenarios of um, how you pay and insurance and all that. How do we get in touch? What's the best way? Right, so the, the number below, you just call that number, you're gonna get right in touch with our call center. Our call center is gonna basically set up an appointment that's perfect for you, right? There's gonna be a design consultant, kind of like myself, gonna come out there, Look at your roof to see if it is repair worthy, see if it's insurance worthy, see if it's retail replacement worthy, or maybe it's in great condition and you have that peace of mind. Well, once we get through the design consultant, you're gonna get the down payment, whether it's financing, cash check, you'll get to our production team. Production's all about providing you that peace of mind on the job site, right? Yeah. Once they're done, of course, our admin team will step in, give you that peace of mind on collection, give you a paid in full invoice, and we're on our way. And you said there are different, um uh, times when it comes to insurance uh, coverage. Yep, so, you know, your insurance owes for very simple, act of God damage. Wind, hail, tree limb puncturing your roof, stuff like that. So if we come out there, deem it, this is actually an insurance replacement job, but the insurance paid for the majority of it. And then the homeowner has to come out the deductible plus any upgrades, upgraded shingle, upgraded details and stuff like that. All right, out with the old, in with the new. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Thank you, Ms. Kanji. And the preceding portion of Live at Nine was sponsored by Contracting Pro. We're back on Live at Nine. Now, here's Kanji. Danny McGee Barlow is a local Memphis recording artist and philanthropist who wants to shine the spotlight on women who are making an impact in our community. To talk about how she plans to do that, Danny is live here with us this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Yes. Okay, so you founded the organization Safe 
place in 2019. Yes. Tell me how that happened and why and how you helped. So um, in 2017, my husband passed away unexpectedly. Sorry. And so within that, I just had a lot of women just coming in my inboxes, calling me about things that they felt they can be safe telling me. You know how sometimes we as ladies mm -hmm. doesn't feel comfortable talking to our mother or cousin. Why? Because we feel judged. Mm -hmm. And so I created the atmosphere of women coming together. We talk about everything under the sun and it stays between those walls. And a sister's just meeting a stranger venting to someone they don't even know. So they feel they can trust because they don't know them and they can't judge them. Wow. Okay. And then and then you even took it a step further. What is Honors Her Awards? Honors Her Awards is something that I have always wanted to do. That's like something that I just wanted to honor women that has been so um, big and in the community, but they really don't get a lot of recognition here in Memphis, mm -hmm. but outside of Memphis. But I wanted to create something that we see what you're doing in the background. We see what you're doing even in the front yard sometimes, but we still doesn't get the recognition that we need. So all these women that, that is on the platform will be tonight and it's somewhat dear to my heart. So I wanted my first award show to be um, coming straight from my, all my awards will be coming straight from my heart, but my first baby, I wanted to cause, um, to bring something out that women has, they either been ins uh, inspiration in my life or they just been with me through my trials and tribulations. And not only that, they have helped so many other women in their churches cause I have pastors gonna be on there, first ladies be on there, entrepreneurs. So we have a lot of women on the platform. And how, so so you, these are people that you've come across in your life that you were able to identify and nominate. Did people? So we did nominate. Mm -hmm. So this, like I said, this came from my heart. Yeah. Who I wanted to first um, recognize who have been, like I said, been there for me through my ups and downs. And some of the women that I really didn't know, but just my transition of when my husband passed away, they was there for me. Right. So I really wanted to make this um, special, the first one special. Yeah, and so, so what can, so you're, everyone's invited, right? Everyone is invited, it is ticketed though. Okay. It's $30, um, the sales are still going on, so I will make this special for anyone who wants to come. It's $30, we don't accept any cash at the door, <laughs> but you can pay with credit card, cash app, and things like that. Okay, so what, What? Um, there are performances, explain the night, yes. tell us about the oh night. Oh my God. And we're having a performance, yes. a little sneak peek here. So tonight, I have the amazing um, D. Monet, um, Katrina Anderson, and Kyla Barnes, who they will see in a minute. And I have my big brother, Keenan Shotwell, who's be the MD. And I have, I don't want to tell everything I have because it's oh. a big surprise. Oh, so there's a but surprise. Every, yes, yeah, so if everybody get their own time tonight, you're going to see who will be opening up for us. Okay. And how much time do we have with you like, um, um, tonight? Tonight, um, the red carpet starts at 6, mm -hmm. and then we're starting the actual event at 7 o'clock. So okay. it's formal. It's a bring your tux. Oh, and yeah. Down. So you're. This is Black Tie, you're saying, yes. at Golden Gate Cathedral. Yes. Yes, that's a beautiful space. Yes. It really yes. is. Yes. Wow. Okay, so tell me about um, what we're going to hear this song. So this song is called Free. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the songs actually me and Carla wrote together. Oh. This is one of the songs that um, we wrote a couple years ago, but I really wanted to actually record it, re-record it again um, due to the passing of my husband. And this song here is free. It just won't let women know, just everybody know, that regardless of what you're going through, regardless of what it looks like, you can be free. Um, just look, look, don't look back, look forward because, you know, we, we get so much in life, life be life in. And life but, be life. Yes, yeah, so we just need a fresher breath of air and just let people know that you can and you will be free. And you're also an artist, so yes. how can we find your stuff? You can find my stuff on all digital outlets, um, Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube. I have videos on YouTube Is it your well. name? It's yes, your name? it's okay. um, D, D. McGee. Okay. It's my, this, oh. this, my stage name. All right, well, I can't wait to hear Thank this you. voice that is going to to light up this Yay. studio and the homes. So walk the red carpet again at the Honors Her Awards tonight, six o'clock, ceremony at seven. And now, thank you for coming in. And here is Carla Barnes with a preview of her performance at tonight's event. Take it away. like 
It's time for Coffee with Corey, brewed in part by Kroger. TGIF. Happy Friday. Yes, yes. Happy Friday. And it's a three-day weekend. And it's 9.01 weekend. That's oh my the coolest goodness. thing yes, ever. Yes, It's so much fun. Our mm -hmm. first story, though, whoo. Oh my goodness. Okay, so for starters, what happened during a four-year-old's uh, trip to a museum in northern Israel may have gotten an adult banned, but they actually invited the kid to be their special guest today. So get this. So the Geller family decided mm -hmm. to take a, the sights at a museum last Friday. Well, mom and dad said the youngest son is very curious, oh. but usually not destructive. 
Well, halfway through the visit, a loud crash filled the quiet, and Dad Alex says all he could think was, was please, don't <laughs> let that be my child. Well, it turns out it was, and it turns out the four-year-old accidentally broke a rare 3,500-year-old jar. Oh, my <gasps> gosh. Well, they alerted security and offered to pay what they could for the damage. Well, the museum officials say that the item was insured, thankfully, and that they plan to restore it by using 3D technology and high-resolution videos of the jar. It will only take a few days. Get that a few days for the restoration and it will be back on display as early as next week. Curators uh, hope they'll be able to turn the accident into a teachable moment for the future. I would be mortified. I'm mortified I would right be now. Mortified if that was my son. I mean, I'm sure the parents are still mortified because this is like now a story, but it's just like, oh, 35. Because you think like you you hear that crash and you turn around like, oh, and then find out it's your child. And then they broke what? How old was it? How much is it going to cost us? It's oh. like you just made a history, a little, little yeah. one. Yeah, so my goodness. Anyway, whew, mm. right? Whew. Luckily, they were in uh, good spirits about it. Okay, <laughs> so the success of uh, games like Wordle sparked a trend, right? And now apps are uh, used every day. The apps that you use every day are adding their own games. So call it the Wordle effect because there are now tons of apps to download offering an entertainment aspect. So experts say you can also check inside your apps you're already using. So for example, LinkedIn, the job uh, focused platform, recently added three daily puzzle games, Queens, Pinpoint, and Cross Climb. Well, LinkedIn says that their games help you foster connections and conversations. Now for subscribers, Apple News Plus has a daily crossword and mini version, but there's also something new called core tiles where you form words by selecting tiles. And of course, Netflix has a growing games category that offers members access to more than 80 games with no ads, no extra fees, and no in-app purchases. And finally, YouTube is testing a mix of over 75 games playable directly in the app. And did you know there's even a hidden game, a hidden game in Chrome on your smartphone? Huh. Okay, so all you have to do is put your phone into airplane mode, try to open a website, and just click on the dinosaur that appears. What? Who knew? I didn't oh know my that. Goodness. I know. So I tried it on my phone, and apparently, like, I have Safari. <laughs> So I it's, like, oh yeah, it's so, Chrome. I was right, and so I was just like, I tried it before I came on air and I was like, hit airplay mode and hit, uh, oh, I'm on Safari, so it didn't work. Yeah. But anyway, that's, how about all I that? love secrets. I love little things. Fun, like, yeah, mm -hmm. that's we great. were at um, dinner and we pulled up Netflix because you just sometimes you have like a little wait time, right? Mm -hmm. So it's so the whole family, we were on Netflix and <laughs> on our, at the restaurant at our, at our table, like playing like the um, oh, yeah. quiz games mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of a fun thing to do Yeah, while you're kind of waiting and kind of buying time. It's you a really, it's, at you the know, fair or yeah. like we were at um, Bush Gardens in Florida. So we we're waiting in line for our ride. And if you play a game, it makes it go a little bit faster. Right. Cause then you're not like annoyed. So exactly. I love it. Oh, this and is with a good a tip. year old at that time and who's now 11. It's just like, you need something to keep their attention. Oh, I love it. Right. So, and finally, uh, you may have heard teenagers deciding to take a gap year. Well, that's a break of course, between high school and starting college. Well, singer Lizzo is taking her own version of a gap year. This is according to fortune magazine, the Grammy award-winning singer wants to protect her peace and take a break. The 36-year-old is facing lawsuits from former dancers and has already slowed down on releasing new music. Well, you may remember the I quit message on her Instagram and that confusion, of course, followed. Well, Lizzo later clarified that she was quitting giving any negative attention, any energy. Well, now it seems she is not quitting again, but she's just at least taking some time away from the spotlight. Everybody needs a gap year. Sometimes you just have too much going on and you just need to like take a break, take a step back and kind of regroup and put your best foot forward. Yeah, and I wonder, yeah, how much of it was the industry saying you need to back you up need and to take a break, you know, and, and you know, I mean, it's yeah. not and nothing is proven. So, you know, you don't know how to take it, but I think it's maybe good to just like figure out what's going yeah. on there. That's nothing that's, wrong with a gap year. Yeah, well, I'm I'm gonna. What about a gap weekend, right? Let's. I'll take a gap weekend. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give yeah. me a gap. Weekend. Everybody enjoy your little gap weekend. Yeah, three days. Three right. day weekend. <laughs> we'll be right back. See you next week.
The following portion of Live at Nine is sponsored by Mayweather Boxing and Fitness. I am here with the owner, Todd Harris. Todd, how did you get Mayweather to Memphis? It's been about two years of, of investing time, construction, to get this 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 uh, business off the ground. And what do you hope that Memphians get from it? An innovative fitness alternative is one thing that we're looking for. And honestly, we're looking to knock out calories and not people. Okay, so I don't have to be a professional boxer to come? No, no, okay. no. This is this um, studio is open to the age of 13 and older, all fitness levels. So, you know, you don't don't feel bad about coming in and not being in shape. You get here, we're going to get you in shape. Hard work and dedication is our motto. Okay, let's do a tour. Who's going to be giving us the tour? So, Ray Booker, our uh, studio manager, will give you the tour. Hi, Ray. I'm Kanji. Hey. <laughs> nice to meet you. Okay, I'm signing up. What is the process? So, we already have your guest waiver in, so your information is in. All we have to do is just put a card on file and get you signed up as a member. Uh, we can start off with a studio tour. Um, I'll give you more information about what to expect um, once you come in. Okay, let's do it. I noticed it's dark in here. So we like to keep the lights low. It gives a different feel to the workout. So for the circuit, um, it's uh, heavy cardio, um, and also we do strength training as well. We have the treadmill. And then you have the rowers. We have our bench and weight section. For the bell, it cues our boxers um, to switch combinations at that sound of the bell. I noticed that there are screens up here. What does that do? Visuals for them to remember exactly what they're doing when they get there. These are the punching bags. <laughs> I'm going to get my gloves in a minute, but what's this all about here? So this is where all the action happens. We call this our cage. So inside our cage, we have four different types of heavy bags that we use. And then the thick people over here, oh, do you ever punch them? <laughs> yes. It actually um, gives our members um, time to actually target practice um, when they're landing those punches. Okay, well, I think it's time for me to get my gloves. So I want to thank you so much for the tour, yeah. and I'm going to go box. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you. Yeah. So guy Harris, you are our instructor. I have on my quick wrap. Yes, ma'am. How you doing, Kanji? Great. Welcome on in. You got your wraps on. All right, guys. So let's get in our boxer stance. So we're here, shoulder width apart, shoulder width apart, with a nice squat, hands protecting our face, all right? Bah. Nice. Bah. Nice. So on our drop is just a quick squat. Jab, cross, drop. Jab, cross, drop. Jab, cross, drop. All right, guys. Gloves on. Right, so we're here. So first we're here. We got jab, cross, drop. So jab, cross, drop. All right. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Nice. Boxes, we're here. Rear upper, lead upper. Keep it up. Speed, 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 speed. So doing around right now. Our members found a member. She has a heart rate monitor on. Our members can see what they're actually doing in real time. So I'm gonna take my gloves off okay. and go sign up. So. All right. I'm glad you Thank enjoyed. Thank you. It was great. Great to meet you, Connie. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. <laughs> and if I haven't been here yet, is it? Do you recommend calling or the website or just walk in? Feel free to walk in. Twenty-two fifty-seven North Germantown Parkway, Suite One Zero Nine. Website. Uh, Mayweather dot fit slash Germantown, but also we'll be accepting calls at nine zero one five six zero one two three eight. All right. Well, thank you for signing me up, and I really appreciate the boxing. And thank you. Thank you. And the preceding portion of Live at Nine is sponsored by Mayweather Boxing and Fitness.
Welcome back everyone to live at nine. We're coming up on 952. Oh my gosh, watch out for the birds. Here's a good looking view from the Gold Strike Skyview Camera Network. This is the Hilton Memphis camera, the downtown city skyline. And across the Mid-South for today, we've started under the clouds, but we're going to end up under the sunshine. And with our daytime heating, I'm anticipating a little bit more in the way of those scattered showers across the area. Once again, much like what we saw yesterday afternoon across the Mid-South. I've seen a few sprinkles this morning, but I really think it'll be our daytime heating that will help trigger the heavier rainfall later in the day. Mid and upper 70s right now, so as you can see, it's been very slow to warm. 86 by lunchtime, low 90s with that sun before the day is through. And then heading into the evening hours, I believe it's going to be the best and most likely time for us to see rainfall today. So be thinking right after the rush hour with some of those heavier showers moving through. I think at daybreak tomorrow for all of the farmers markets and all of those heading out early, you should be just fine. The bigger story will be this cold front moving through the area over the weekend with the continued instability. But by the time we get to Monday, the cold front will have moved through the area. Skies are going to be clearing. North winds are going to be back and conditions are really going to be improving. So watch for the showers this afternoon and then again for tomorrow, especially. I know Tigers kicking off tomorrow night, six o'clock. We could see some rain there on a 901 day early showers. And then for the rest of the holiday weekend, I mentioned how that cold front moving through and temperatures will be falling off as we head through the rest of next week. I tell you what, Kanji, I'll see you next month, okay? <laughs> All right, see you then. All right, well, thank you for watching Live at 9. Uh, we are now going to check out your Ion Entertainment. There's something sinister going down in an apartment, and it's apartment 7A. Dennis Quaid also takes on a role of presidential portions. Donya Backus has your Ion Entertainment report. I will be frank with you that as a citizen, I would not like to see any political party outlawed on the basis of its ideology, because I still believe, Mr. Chairman, that democracy can handle it. Dennis Quaid plays the nation's 40th president in the new film Reagan. The movie follows Ronald Reagan from his small town upbringing in Illinois to the White House with a stop in Hollywood. Hello, I'm Nancy Davis. Hello, Nancy Davis. I'm Ron Reagan. Reagan is in theaters today. I came here for one reason, to make something of myself. Julia Garner stars as an ambitious young dancer with dreams of fame and fortune in New York City in 1965. She's taken in by an older, wealthy couple after being injured in the psychological thriller, Apartment 7A. We want to help. The place is yours if you want it. Garner's character soon learns things aren't what they seem in Apartment 7A or the Bramford Apartment Building, which is the setting for the later film Rosemary's Baby. Diane Weist and Kevin McNally co-star. Apartment 7A arrives on Paramount Plus September 27th. Carl Weathers! The newest star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame goes to the late athlete, actor and director Carl Weathers. I want the whole world to see me destroy this man after two short rounds. Following his stint as a linebacker for the Oakland Raiders, Weathers appeared in the first four Rocky movies as Rocky's nemesis, Apollo Creed. He was also a successful cattle rancher. Weathers died this past February at age 76. That's your Ion Entertainment. Donya Backus, CBS News, Los Angeles. We'd like to thank you for joining us for Live at 9. Coming up Labor Day Monday on our show, we're serving up a slice of Memphis history you'll want to sink your teeth into. The queen of Memphis soul food, B.J. Chester Tamayo, is in the kitchen. We're going to be live on location. She's going to share the details about her 70s birthday bash. She's turning 70, and it's set to be a party of the century. So we're going to also tell you how worldwide viral Chef O is involved with some delicious surprises for that event. And then we're going to take you on an exclusive tour of some of Memphis's most historic homes with Patty Joyner Cutbirth. She's the chair of the 48th annual Home and Garden Tour there in Central Gardens, and this year's lineup is more elegant and historic than ever before. Plus, for all of you parents, the Memphis Children's Clinic is going to be in studio to talk about well child checkups and how to prepare your kids for a healthy fall. So we'll see you Monday for all this, your top Labor Day news, weather and trending topics. Have a good weekend. During Live at 9, we're paid for by Contracting Pro and Mayweather Boxing and Fitness.